Everybody, it's 444RR, the next minute of 3 and 6 5 day magic challenge. This is actually a really, really, honestly, a great trick. Um, spectators love the trick. It blows their mind, and I love performing the trick. So this is actually going to be a really uh, stellar trick. So I'm going to do a little review after I perform it. So let me, uh, let me do the trick. I have a uh, deck of cards. I have a little packet of cards here. These cards are actually pool balls. I don't know if you play pool. If you don't, I'm sure you've seen the pool balls before, though. Like, I'm sure you've seen the um, eight ball before, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up the cards. That way, just, just so I don't know what order the cards are in or anything like that. And if there was a spectator here, they would choose six cards. So we'll say they choose uh, four, five, and six. These six right here. So let's see. Uh, they pocketed all of these guys, so that's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and uh, shuffle up the cards again. And this time they're going to choose four. So we'll say they choose the uh, four on the end here. And they got rid of these guys. So that's not bad. And we'll shuffle up the cards one more time. So you don't know which card is which. And uh, go ahead and choose one. This one? All right. So we're going to get rid of that guy. So uh, it's, it's a, this is uh, the two ball. And this is my little prediction I've had sitting here the entire time. So we're going to see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, spectator's brain, quarter pocket. And uh, that's the trick. It's called dirty pool. You make a uh, pool ball appear from somewhere. It's a really, really great trick. Uh, I love this one. And uh, the spectator's mind just gets blown when you do this trick. Uh, I'll tell you a personal story in just a minute. The cool thing is the cards are very nice quality cards. They're made from nice card stock. I think, uh, I don't know uh, who makes the cards, but they have this little pool table on the back, which is kind of cool, and they're all the uh, pool balls on the front. It's a really great uh, deck, of, a little great pack of cards. The only thing you can't do is fan the cards. It does not a very good fanning deck, but, um, but it's a great trick. I love this one, actually. Um, I just love making the pool ball appear. Uh, the thing they talk about the instructions is they give you two ways to produce it. That You produce it from either a card box or you can produce it from the little wallet that I showed. Uh, the way you produce it from the wallet is you have, uh, you take uh, uh, one of the cards, you place it on this side, is this is my prediction. You want to see my prediction? And then boom, you make the two ball appear. So, or you make a, a pool ball appear. Uh, the the, the uh, cool thing is it's not always the two ball. You're gonna get a you're gonna get a pool ball in your when you buy the trick you're gonna get a pool ball and you'll get all the cards and stuff. Um, this is a great trick. I had a really cool experience with this trick one time. I was doing a close up show and uh, there was this guy here and he's like, you know, show me a trick. Or do you want to show me a trick? And you know, and I was like, sure, sure. And I pull and I only had time to do one because. Um, where I, the the show I was doing, you know, the, the people it was at a uh, it was at a business, and the people were shopping, so they didn't have time to um, see a long drawn out show. So I did one trick for this dude. I did this trick. I made that pool ball boom appear right on my table. That guy left the store. He was on his way out anyways. He was like, all right, now I'm leaving because he was, his mind was so blown. He could not understand how I had the pool ball appear. Uh, the question you're going to get asked the most when you do this trick, there's one question you will get asked the most. Do you have all of the pool balls on you? No, you don't. You tell them, no, I don't. I only have, well, the one. Uh, you know, because the spectator is going to think you have every single pool ball, which you don't, which you don't. You have the one that the spectator stops at. And the really cool thing is they can legitimately choose any cards that they want. You, you know, you have them pick the cards, and then the, the prediction will always match the selection, which is really, really cool. I love the trick. Can't say enough good things about this trick. Uh, the only thing about the trick is, little buyer beware, you're not going to be able to find the trick very much. Uh, I had a terrible time trying to find this trick. Um, what I did was, uh, El I looked on Elmwood Magic, I saw it there, and then I was like, I can't earn the money to buy it right now. I'll wait a couple days. I waited. They were sold out. And I'm like, I want this trick so bad. And I couldn't find it on any other websites. Couldn't find it on Magic Eat. Couldn't find it at the Magic Warehouse. 
This is back when Barry's Magic Shop was open. I couldn't find it there. No place had it. And I finally found it from a magic shop in uh, Philadelphia. And uh, they actually had it. And I was glad I got it because it's a really, really great trick. So you might have to do a little detective work to try to find the trick because it's very hard to find. But if you do find it, pick it up. It's a great trick. It's called Dirty Pool. And you're going to enjoy the trick as much as I have. So uh, that's the video. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next 365-day Magic Challenge video.